any data that you collect in Elmwater or Solstice belongs to you by default. And that's why we've made it very easy for you to download your data from the system as and when you need it. In this video, we'll take a look at a few easy ways in which you can get your data from the system, either all in one go or one data source, one fraction at a time. So number one, first of all, if you are an organization admin and you are making use of the organization's feature in Mwater or Solstice, you can then download all of the organization's survey and site data with just one button. Number two, you can always also download site and survey data from survey pages, or especially through data grids, which are spreadsheet-like views of the data that you control, where you get to set the columns and the rows as you please. And finally, you can also view and download any personal data that the system knows about you through your interaction with it. So to summarize, you can bring your data out all at once, or selected data sources at a time. So let's take a look at this organization data backup. The prerequisite for this is that you manage your surveys, your survey deployments, and any possible infrastructure sites, such as water points, schools, health facilities, and so on, through what we call an organization. If you're doing that, then you can download all of the related data in one combined archive file. And the steps to do that are pretty easy. You open the mWater or Solstice portal and navigate to your organization under the Manage tab. In your organization, you open the top branch and then find the Settings tab on the right side of that. And then finally, click the button to download organization data, if you have the permissions to do so. Once you do this, you will get all the related survey data, that is to say all of the survey responses that are linked to deployments made through this organization. You'll also get all the survey designs as .json files, as well as all the site that is to say, infrastructure data set to be managed by that organization. So quite a lot of stuff all in one archive. I should also add that Mwater and Solstice do take automatic backups of all data and keep a full archive. So in a situation of accidental data deletion, you can always talk to us and we will be able to recover that data for you with some effort. But let's take a look at this process live in the browser. So here I am in my demonstration account in the mWater portal. The same steps will apply for Solstice 2. I can navigate to my organization from the top bar by selecting Manage and then picking Organizations. Here I get a list of all of the organizations that are visible to me, of which I'm interested in this one, the demonstration organization where there can be many branches, all depending on how I've set this up. Uh, you can look at the video description for more guidance on how organizations work. Here, I want to select the top branch and there then navigate to the settings tab where we have a button to download organization data. Triggering this generates an API call, which you can even use to automate this process, maybe download it every week or something. What we get is this kind of archive file. And here we have for each survey that's been deployed through this organization, the responses in a CSV and the design as a JavaScript object notation file. Finally, at the bottom, we have any and all sites, so special infrastructure data types in Mwater or Solstice, such as water systems, water points, schools, and so on, that have been set to be managed by this organization in the system. All of that in one archive. And then you can do what you want with those copies of the data. Let's look at the next option for data, export. Most users of Mwater and Solstice use the platforms to get survey data. 
and you can always download all the survey responses which you have permissions to see by going to the survey itself in the portal and there opening the responses tab. And within that responses tab, you can select to export responses to CSV or to Excel. And just to highlight, the data that you can see and export is completely determined by which survey deployments you are part of. So it may be the case that you can see the design of a survey, but you're not part of a deployment, which is an activation of the survey for a certain set of data collectors and managers. And you have to be part of that deployment to see the rows of data. So let's see this live as well. Again, in the portal, I'll choose surveys. I'll pick this demonstration survey where I know that I do see some responses. So I'm now in my survey responses tab. And here I can just select export responses. There are a number of options you can choose between. I'm just going to choose to export. And that generates a file, a spreadsheet with all the data visible to me of the survey. And there we have it. So that's straightforward. The downside is that's only one survey at a time. The next option that I would pretty strongly recommend to get data out of the system is to use data grids, which are these spreadsheet-like views with rows and columns that you get to choose and pick and define. Another great benefit of data grids is that you can link site and survey data and show it or show the linked data on one row. So if you have a site question in your survey and you have linked a given water point or school to your survey, you can then see that information side by side. For example, water point name, GPS location and type from the site data type, and then any information from the survey that you've collected. You can bring that into one table and then you can export that into CSV or XLSX. Let's take a look at that. Again, we go to manage at the top bar to find our data grids option at this point. We choose to make a new one and configure it. Here I could choose between any data sources available to me, whether they are custom tables, indicators, surveys. I'll choose water points. I can pick individually the columns I want to see for example, the name, the description, or the type, or I can just choose to add everything and then maybe remove some columns that uh, I'm not interested in. Finally, I can also reach out from the site to, for example, related surveys. So I can find my any survey that has that site question and link it to my data grid through this interface. Once I've done that, saved my definition, I want to save my data grid top left. And as soon as I've saved it, I can start downloading it. I can filter it further, do anything I like, and I select download. And there I can get the data onto my computer. I'll add some guidance on data grids more broadly into the video notes as well. And finally, let's take a look at how you can see personal data. That is data that MWater and Solstice may have collected about your activity in the platform as you've done things in the platform and in order to help you and fix any support requests that we get from users. From this page, you can see survey responses, the basic details of all the surveys you've submitted, and the sites you've created, the IP addresses you've used the platform from, surveys that you're part of, and various user events such as logins. From this page, you can also request the removal of all of your personal data. This will also deactivate your user account. However, do note that the data that you've collected so the surveys that you filled in, those will remain unless you specifically also remove those. And to get to view this personal data, you need to go to your account page. 
how do you do that? You can always see your account page from the top right of the portal where it says your name, your username, and then select my account. You scroll to the bottom, you see these options. For example, you can view the surveys deployed to you, which will be a list of the names of the surveys you can see. Copy that from the system if you like. Or for example, user events, showing the 100 most latest ones. Or you can click to download a large list of all of your user events. And here's the option to request the removal of personal data, delete your account. So there we have it. We've covered how to download all of your organization's data from the organization view, how to quickly get survey data from the survey responses tab, how to customize what you bring out of the system using data grids, and then finally, how to look at your personal data in your My Account page. So thanks very much for watching. We're active on social media and on this video channel. So do subscribe, do check us out to keep up to date on our features, which are constantly developing and more guidance as we put it out. Thanks again.